Hello everyone, I am Vikram P. Maduri here. Welcome to Chains of Tech. And in this session, we are going to discuss about SAP MM, uh, the material management overview for beginners. If at all, if you are new to uh, material management, uh, you can go ahead with this. This will be very much helpful for you. Even if you are working on some other modules other than SAP MM and you're, you're on SAP, uh, it will be very much helpful for you because we are supposed to know the overview of the most important uh, modules that we have in uh, the entire organization like uh, the finance department, material management and uh, the sales department. So these are a uh, couple of uh, most important uh, departments which we must be knowing about and uh, uh, we should be understanding the overview. Okay, so let's start with the, the basics of SAP MM. So what does SAP MM stand for? It stands for material management. So SAP MM stands for material management. Now here we, we are like basically discussing about the uh, what what exactly we'll be doing right now is uh, the process of uh, prepare me tell me show me and tell me and help me so these are the steps that we are doing it now so prepare me so in this like uh, what exactly is the purpose of this material management and what is the use of it and what are the challenges that we have in the material management is what we'll discuss now in this like uh, the material management covers the planning and procurement of raw materials services and all other items required to run business it's basically the material related uh, stuff that we have we are talking about but it also covers the planning and procurement of raw materials services as well it also involves various of materials inventory activities like a goods invert issue of goods and also valuating of uh, available stock so material management plays a very important role in integrating activities in procurement inventory and and goods movements so material management also integrates procurement inventory and goods movements with the core departments like sales and distribution finance and production departments now when we talk about the material management uh, overview so we have this material management we have mrp the, this is what we are discussing right now, right now. The material requirement planning is the first phase of in the procurement. So procurement starts with the requirement which is triggered by the material requirement planning MRP. Requirement can be dependent, dependent requirement like sales order based requirement or production order based requirement or independent requirement like stationary requirement. It's basically something which we uh, we trigger on a, on a general basis on on a on, on a calendar basis or something like that. And uh, then we have identity vendor identify the vendor. This is the first step that we do in the MRP. Uh, we identify the vendors for certain requisitions. It is essential to identify a correct vendor. Now this could be a situation when a material is procedural for the first time. In such scenarios. Uh, there is a need to create request for quotation that's called uh, RFQ and send it to the vendors. Compare the prices quoted by the vendors and select the vendor are based on the issues of the purchase order to the vendor. Now the procurement, the procurement. Now when we talk about the procurement, it not just, it does not cover just the procuring of materials. When a requirement triggers right from creation of requisition, to sending the purchase order to the vendor is taken care by the procurement department. This involves creation of requisition, approval of requisition, creation of request for quotation if needed and converting of requisition to purchase order, identifying medium to send a purchase order to the vendor and PO monitoring. This was this is about the procurement. Now we have the inventory management. This is the inventory management. Inventory management, it involves placing of material at right location and also evaluate the stock in hand. So when we are talking about the material, we are as of now from the material management perspective, we are talking about the raw materials. It is very important to place the material in right place according to the behavior of the stock, fast moving stock, slow moving stock, explosive items, etc. And also to keep the track of the same. Goods movement, it, it involves goods received and uh, goods issue of material. Goods received can be for goods received from vendor, production department or from other manufacturing plants. Goods issue can be can, can be issue against a sales order, uh, production order, issue against a cost center. Both goods receipts and goods issue affect the inventory in, in terms of quality, quantity and value. 
Now we have the vendor evaluation. So it was a, it was about the inventory management. Now in vendor evaluation. It, vendor evaluation it involves the performance of uh, vendors at a regular interval. Valuation can be uh, on various parameters like delivery time, quality of material supplied, and uh, the duration that they give give us for uh, payment repayment of the uh, repayment of our funds and uh, the kind of uh, discounts that they are offering for our company and the leverage that they are giving for our company. All these matters when we are doing the vendor evaluation. Vendor evaluation can be done initially. It is for the first time when we are giving some uh, order to the vendor, it is mandatory for us to go through the entire valuation process. But at the same time, there is also a process of regular checkup for the vendors and their performance with us and uh, re-evaluating other vendors and uh, checking out for better prospects in the, in, 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 the, in the market. These all are involved in the vendor evaluation. Now, when we talk about the material management functions, the material management functions basically cover vendor management, goods movement involves uh, goods movement, inventory management, procurement, MRP, uh, and uh, these are the things that we have. So in this, like when we talk about the vendor management, maintaining track of suppliers, analyzing vendor performance on delivery price, quantity, etc. Goods movements involves goods issue, for example, issue to customer issue to production, issue against cost center, etc. Goods received, for example, received from vendor against PO, receives from other plants. Inventory management, uh, we have to place the stock in the right location and also to trace the same value, evaluate the right uh, uh, stock available and physical stock inventory. Now, procurement involves identify the develop vendor through bid quotation enter of enter of contract with vendor for regular purchase creation of purchase order sending it to vendor tracking of purchase orders mrp is based on depend dependent requirement independent requirement so we have based on sales and production based on past consumption safety stock etc now the, what are the material management functions now, dependent requirements are normally considered for materials which are high value or which has a short shelf life whereas independent requirements are considered for materials which are of low cost fast moving items for regular consumed items blanket POs or uh, contracts can be used against which material or service can be pro procured as and when it is required inventory management involves placing of materials in right place and also right tracking the availability of stock this is very important for smooth flow of business. It is also it also involves uh, physical inventory activities to uh, so as to ensure accurate stock. And we have inventory management is also as responsible for placing monetary value to available stock as it also has a legal moment. And uh, goods goods a moment not only involves issues and receipts of uh, material, but also includes uh, data entry and documentation of goods moment from the from the from and uh, within the warehouse used by the company regular analysis of vendor performance helps in future decisions making also in uh, doing the price negotiation with the vendors now what are the challenges that we have in sap material management now what planning strategy do we need to use is the most important thing for which all materials do we need to have safety stock? What should be should be my lead time for planning? These are the things that we have uh, when it comes to planning, planning and procurement. And uh, then what price do I negotiate with the vendor? So that it will be a win-win situation. And do I procure materials against BO or do we have to procure it against a blanket purchase order or a contract? How do I review the vendor performance and on what parameters? Now, let me tell you a small difference. Like, you know, PO is a single generation, uh, I mean, it, it's generated once, and the blanket PO is something which will be done multiple number of times, and contract is something which we do it for, you know, uh, for a long term and a regular basis. How do I place the materials in warehouse? That's, that's and again, once we procure the material, how do we place in the warehouse? And which evaluation method do I have to evaluate materials? Which physical inventory method do I use to? Do in the stock market, stock time taking. These are the things that we have in challenges, and then we have the 
and then we have this uh, balance speed navigation power all these things are also important so enterprise market is very important for reducing the overhead costs this calls for maintaining minimal inventory and at the same time ensure availability of goods services on time strategies like uh, just in time uh, needs to be adopted to achieve this which is a challenge in itself it, it is all, also always a challenge to have better bargaining power as, so as to negotiate a best deal with the vendor there is always a challenge to maintain an integrated uh, report and also to analyze such reports so as to improve the procurement uh, process decisions like uh, whether to procure uh, materials to purchase order or to have contract with the vendor for a specified period of time depending on its uh, past consumption is uh, a challenge in itself now the integrating different uh, process within material management also to integrate with other modules like sales finance has uh, has been a challenge so now we will move on to the tell me so here we have the functions of sap mm uh, basically we are just understanding from the material management perspective then we'll get into the sap mm perspective so these are the general terms first and foremost we have this integration uh, mm organizational structure we have master data these two things, things needs to be maintained first the mm organizational structure and material master data needs to be maintained first upon that the mrp and other functionalities will come based on that the procurement can be uh, can be pro taken carried out and then we have the invoice planning and then we have the inventory and the integration these are the things that we have to plan and uh, with, for this like uh, we'll just understand the organizational structure in the inventory so the organizational structure in the inventory is like the client is the highest uh, uh, highest uh, level of uh, 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 you know, uh, order that we have company code represents uh, Uh, an independent balance a uh, balancing legal accounting entity uh, example company with a corporate group balance sheet and profit profit and loss statements required by law can be created at the company code level and plant is an organizational logistics unit where certain pro important uh, business functions like production procurement inventory plant maintenance and uh, material ma planning are carried out the storage location is an organizational unit that allows the differentiation of material stocks within a plant storage locations are only used for informative assignment it can be used as a parameter criteria in the reporting now when we talk about the purchasing the purchasing organization we have the company specific purchasing company codes have their own specific purchase organization who are responsible for the procure procurement in centralized purchasing there would be only one purchasing organization who would be responsible for procurement procuring goods and services for all pay plants this gives a better bargain power so in plant specific purchasing organization there would be purchase organization responsible for procuring for the specific plants such purchase organizations are required to procure goods like stationary items required by plant first is the master data the master data is a data maintained centrally which can be used while uh, doing every purchase or purchase transaction and maintaining master data reduces the data entry work ma uh, manpower and also reduces the possibility of committing error while doing the data entry and then we have the vendor master vendor master is regarded as the company's crediting uh, business partner all uh, all the relevant information pertaining to vendor is stored centrally in the, in the record known as the vendor master record and we have the purchase info record maintained for a combination of vendor and material contains important information like current vendor price terms of terms of standard standard uh, uh, quantity etc the the source list contains the allowed uh, preferred prefer and the or blocked sources of supply for a material in a plant that are valid within a certain period each source is defined in the source list by a source list record
we have the master data for procurement. Uh, to create any purchasing document in SAP, it needs some basic information like uh, material details, vendor details, pricing conditions, available uh, available sources. This information are supplied by the master data like the material master, uh, material related information like material description, material group are derived. From vendor master information like vendor name, address, currency, terms of payment is derived and purchasing info record supplies information like uh, price other conditions standard quantity etc so you can you can clearly see that the source list and the purchasing info record uh, forms the basic for creating the purchase masters and then with this purchase masters in turn will be uh, interacting with the material master and master vendor master so all these things are required to create a purchase order thanks for watching this video do let me know your feedback on this in the comments section and uh, do share uh, this video with all the contacts whom it can be helpful and if you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe to our channel at youtube.com so that you can get uh, all the important notifications and uh, contact us at training at jlsoptic.com for any kind of trainings and jobs at jlsoptic.com would be our email ID to contact for uh, for the jobs Thank you. Have a great day.